Hey everybody, I'm back and I'm coming at you guys with a very special model that has a lot of value to me. I mean a lot of personal sentimental value. So this right here I have is a commemorative 1999 GMC RTS specially wrapped Tony Gwynn 3000 hits transit bus. Officially or authentically autographed. So, of course, just got it the other day. Got it with all the paperwork listed. I believe that's 93 of 3,000. Again, keeping with the number of hits. So, this isn't no, to me, this isn't no ordinary bus. Um, I first saw this bus back in 1999 at the transit store down in downtown downtown San Diego they had it right in the glass display case now at the time I believe I was about 10 years old every time I would go right past there I would see this and I would think I want that bus so so bad I really want it I don't know if it was just because of the RTS um, body style with the full graphics or if it was just a authentic San Diego transit bus, I don't, I don't know what the reason was, but there was something about it that I just, I just wanted it. So, not long after it disappeared into what is the word obscurity. Never saw it. Never saw it again. Um, throughout the years, I would check on eBay. Google search, there's that other site called Worth Point where you can look up different models, dolls, everything. Check it out if you can. Um, never saw it. So, the other morning, early in the morning at about 4 a.m., <coughs> excuse me, I'm scanning eBay. No, I take it back. I take it back. Um, I was Google searching and this popped up. And I thought to myself, this has got to be a false alarm. Maybe it's a image for a really old listing so i go to ebay i follow the hyperlink to ebay of course it takes me right to this um this listing so i had to refresh the page a couple of times because i thought this was a really really old old listing until i looked at it and no it was for sale 100 159 i think the real the original asking price was probably could have been a hundred bucks. I don't know. I mean, it's special edition Tony Gwynn. That's but, anyways, um, I picked it up right away. I got out my debit card and had it on the way. Had it on the way the the next day. So I don't know. It's. And coming from coming from San Diego, this has a lot of a lot of personal value. I mean, I've been living in Los Angeles for for a while now, and yeah, I get home I get homesick for San Diego. So when I see this bus, it's I mean the only thing missing is the location of its destination where it's going. That's probably the only thing missing. I mean, it's just it's phenomenal. It is phenomenal, and of course, it's all in a um, of course decal wrap, which I do not want to. I hardly want to touch this thing. I'm mean, I want to feel it. I'm not going to glass case display it. I'm I'm sentimental, but not that sentimental. I'm not going to put this in a hyperbaric chamber by any means. Nope. It's just an amazing, an amazing collectible. Truly, and it's it is collectible. I mean, there's almost next to none out there even though again that was 93 following the 3,000 hits almost next to none out there that makes you wonder where all the other ones went yeah but personally uh ever since right after Gwen died I really lost interest in the in baseball I mean of course I still love the the Padres mainly because that's my my home team that's home that's home to me but i don't know he was always mr at least to me he was always mr padre and after he passed away and i think it was because of like 
tobacco related complications that with me and baseball is like yeah that's that's it but anyways that's story for another another day so before this was graphically wrapped it was a coin bank in the 150th scale this is a lot like you see from the what is it called royal royal coaches the MCIs, the Prevos, the GMC, RTSs, Van Hools. So, they got it right with this one. They really, they really did. And I laugh because I, lo I love this. It's, um, this goes alongside of my big, my big black Kenworth, the 128. This is right alongside it. As in personal, personal favorites. I love all my models, but there's some of them that really, really, really speak to the heart. They have history behind them more than just a model. So it's... Oh, speaking of baseball, I was at uh, Target the other day. Look what I picked up. Three-dimensional coasters. They were only like 24 bucks for the pair of two, but okay, that's pretty cool. Glad, like a plexiglass see-through. <laughs> On the subject of baseball, okay, so I'm gonna get the word out there. But overall, again, I really can't. Re that's the thing about it. I can't review this one because reviewing would be critiquing it. It would be. Uh, I cannot find anything. And maybe I'm biased that way. Yeah, I probably am. Bi I probably am biased that way because, you know, it's. I'm from I'm from San Diego, and it just has that automatic appeal, and, you know. But anyways, personally, um, I'm more than likely the only reviewer of this on YouTube, and I'm glad I am. Hopefully, I can get a lot of views on it because this model really this collectible really has to be shared so i hope you enjoyed i regardless I, I enjoy this thing again i can't go i could talk about this all night long but my iphone unfortunately doesn't have the world's biggest storage supply so i'm gonna leave it be at there all right you guys take care